Texas has had a lot of flood events uh, recently, especially in Houston. And the scientific literature has looked at um, heavy rainfall mainly on a regional basis because uh, individual rain gauges can, you know, the trend can be influenced by one or two big events at one particular time. So uh, the, the evidence from lots of different studies is, say, the South Central United States is having an increase in the frequency of heavy rain events. Uh, but I tried to break it down into a more local scale by putting together long-term records for individual counties in Texas. We've got over 250 counties. And if you average all of those results together, you get the same trend that people have seen already on a regional basis. But the thing that was interesting to me was that the, for, the, for the more extreme events, uh, you get much more variation in the actual trend from place to place. It's, it's not systematic, it's you know, just random, but that means people have different experiences of extreme weather. In Houston, uh, extreme flooding has increased much more rapidly than in most other places within the state. Um, there are other places where extreme flooding has, de extreme rainfall has decreased over the past century, again, just randomly. So in addition to this large scale regional increase in extreme flooding, you've got randomness that makes some people experience a big increase and some people experience no change at all. So if people have different perceptions about climate change impacts, that's weather mucking with the, the trends that are going to make some places be unlucky and some places be lucky, but eventually those odds will even out over time.